Hi everybody, it's Patrick and today I'm going to present you my WVD auto scaling tool. All you need to do is download my script and create a resource group for your automation resources. And let's get started. In my example, I've downloaded the script in my preferred location on my hard disk, started the PowerShell as an administrator and navigated to the folder where I've saved my PowerShell script. Next, I'm going to start the PowerShell script. And log in with my global administrator credentials to the tenant. Now I have to select a working folder where the script should store all the scripts required to perform the operation. And I have a graphical user interface where I can select the resource group where exactly to store my automation resources. I select my preferred resource group and click OK. Now I have the chance to select the location. I take West Europe. And I have the chance to give my automation account a name. And hit enter when I finished. Now I can select a log analytics workspace for logging. In this case, I just skip it and provide a password for the run as account that needs to be created later on. And now the script is performing all the steps. It's creating an automation account, importing the modules. This process can take up to 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. Now we can see that our run as account will be created. In my case, it drops an error message because the account already exists. After a few seconds, the script will continue and we need to copy and paste the web procurer I from the field above into the field below. After I've done this, I can assign a tag to exclude VMs from my automation and scaling and select the host pool I want to scale up and down. I select the second host pool and click OK. Now I can define how often this process should be repeated. In my case, I, for testing purposes, I select a very small range and select the time for my peak hours and the end of the peak time. 
Last but not least, I define the time zone I'm currently in. For Central European time, this is plus two. And hit enter. Now I can define a CPU threshold and enter the minimum number of VMs to be started during the peak time. I define a session threshold that the users or the time the users have before they will be signed out. And I define a header and the body message for the end users. Finally, I need to select my Azure Service Principle created for us to perform these tasks. And finally, the automation account will, complete, will be completed and a logic app will be created with the values we've entered before. After a few seconds and a refresh of my Azure portal, we can see the Logic app has been created. In there, we can also perform some modifications in case that we want to modify general settings we've be defined before. In the automation account where I'm currently in, you can check if the Run As account has been successfully created by clicking, clicking on Run As accounts. I don't need to do this right now. And I can go back to verify if the script did his job. While clicking on virtual machines, I can see that the defined range or the minimum number of VMs that need to be started has been started in this case. And that concludes the demonstration.